Hi, hi, how are you? Cass here. So I was working on my blog. It's the end of the year. 2013 is about to come to a close. I've got about 10 hours left. And I realized that there's nothing on my about page. So I just wanted to share a little bit about myself with you guys so you folks really kind of get a, a sense of who I am. Um, well, let me see. I used to be a major workaholic. I'm in my early 40s. I live in New York. I have one child. She just turned 20. And uh, for the last easily 20 years, actually more, because I started working in high school when my parents got divorced. So I'm talking about like uh, just shy of, you know, probably like 30 years. I got my first babysitting job when I was about 13. So yeah, about 30 years, I've been working. And when my parents got divorced, I started actually working like full time, supporting myself. So I was a workaholic. I really was. I was pulling 70 hour weeks minimum. I had two jobs. Uh, I was just busy. I was busy commuting. I was busy paying bills. I was busy living paycheck to paycheck. And about two and a half years ago, I experienced a major trauma. That trauma led to a hospitalization of about a month, which led to three more hospitalizations, which led to a ridiculous amount of poking and prodding and testing, which led to me finding out that I have lupus and a genetic platelet disorder. This almost killed me. I was literally bleeding out inside my body. The internal bleeding was rapid. It was everywhere. And they were not really sure how to stop it. I spent a few weeks in ICU. And uh, it was almost the end. It was, it was intense. Um, at the time, my daughter was a few weeks before her... 17th, uh, her 18th birthday. This was September, uh, September 8th, 2010. I'll like never forget that day because it really was the longest day of my life. Um, while I fought for my life. And I had to basically send my daughter home alone. And they put me in ICU and the next three weeks were a complete blur. Um, they hooked me up to a plasma exchange machine and they changed my plasma every day just to keep me alive. This was not about, you know, curing. This was about keeping me alive. It changed everything. It changed my life. And, you know, people go, oh, I'm so sorry. I don't want you to say that, okay? Because this was actually a blessing in disguise. At the time, it was very scary. Uh, I still get a little emotional about it because it was so pivotal, you know? But it turned out to be a blessing. I changed every aspect of my life at that point. Uh, you know, no more drinking, no smoking, no eating crappy, like none, none of that stuff, you know, like everything changes when they tell you you're going to die. And uh, the other thing they told me was that I could no longer physically handle my jobs. Uh, both of my jobs were extremely physically taxing. They were tactile jobs. I didn't sit behind a desk. I was a visual merchandiser for a big box realtor, uh, retailer in Times Square. And I also worked at a spa as a laser consultant. So there wasn't a lot of sitting down and, you know, chilling out behind a desk kind of thing. And my doctors were very clear that I could not do that anymore. Um, I, I was basically forced into government disability and that was a huge financial blow 
I went from, you know, even though I was living paycheck to paycheck, I was making pretty good money, enough to support myself, my daughter, my godson, and a never-ending flow of teenagers coming to my house to raid my refrigerator. So I was making decent money, you know, um, and that ended. Disability is eight eighty-five sixty-seven a month. And so I started on a journey to find a way to support us and supplement that income without endangering my life. And that meant learning how to market online. It meant learning how to be an internet marketer. Now, fast forward that a year and change, and I was getting nowhere. Nowhere. I was spending a ton of money on programs and training and this and that, and joining this and that, and kind of flopping around like a fish on a dock. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. And then I stumbled on a, a marketer that was not so not so famous and and popular that he was unattainable but he was doing it you know he was doing it he was making it he was making strides he was recruiting like a maniac and he he just knew what he was doing you know and so i made it my business to to talk to him, to get in contact with him, to get to know him. And I asked him, you know, can I join you? And he has become my mentor and he has shown me how to move forward, how to get results, how to see profit. And so for the first time, I am seeing profit. And so my life has kind of come together and it's come full circle and it has been reborn all at the same time from my income to my my career to my goals you know because uh, before I was just working I didn't know what I was doing and I I wasn't really touching anyone I wasn't touching anybody's life I was not being impactful and that has changed also. I've managed to really help people. Um, my insight has changed the direction for other people. And that is an amazingly gratifying experience. It's so, it's so heartwarming to know that a little piece of your knowledge, a little piece of what you learn can help somebody else change the tide in their life, that you can change someone's life just by sharing your experience. And uh, and that's on all fronts, not just business, but my, my story about what happened to me with my illness has helped people. It's given them hope. You know, when, when you sit in a hospital with a team of doctors and they tell you, that what you have is incurable and what you have is going to kill you it's just you don't know when right when they say that to you your hope can just take a huge hit it can tumble and crack and just go into a million pieces so for someone to look at me and say wow you know she's doing it and for me to be able to show them that uh, it doesn't have to be a death sentence you don't have to live under a cloud every single day like waiting for that final moment you can live in the moment you can experience the moment and you can enjoy the moments and you can thrive Anyway, that means so much to me that I'm able to show people that, that I'm able to show them that you can, you can, you know, you can have this thing happen to you and still go and still function and do more than function, live and 
and have a good life. That's important. It's important to me. And it, it, uh, it makes me feel like I, I do have a purpose now, you know. So when people say to me, well, what's your why? Uh, my why is simple. My why is simple. It is to inspire and to touch as many people as I can before that day does come for me. And to give my daughter the best foundation and the best chance that I can so that she'd never have to feel as alone as she felt the day she had to leave me in the hospital and go home by herself. And so that's about me. Uh, a little bit about the site you're on right now. This is my blog. Um, this blog is dedicated mostly to um, my business. There is a more personal blog, and that's castacosta.blogspot.com, which kind of um, takes you on the medical journey with me. And you can contact me on Facebook. That's Casta Costa on Facebook. And um, if you want to learn uh, the things that I've learned about business, if you want to get further and use Facebook to.